as far as the main line's concerned, it's eight pound Darber ST, straight the way through, no shock leaders, nothing. And the reason for this is quite simple. When I come to Berry Hill, a lot of the time I'm drawing in open water and I will fish with braid and a shock leader. When I'm fishing slightly shorter distances around islands, line is definitely my number one choice. I don't want it too direct. When you're fishing a long, long way, 60, 70, 80 metres plus, for me, braid is a must. But these shorter chucks around the island, it's not so important. As far as the reel's concerned, it's a castism reel. Absolutely my number one choice for any kind of long distance feeder fishing. Today, like I say, we're only fishing 45, 50 metres. But it makes it easy for myself. I'm just going to be lobbing the feeder. And the reel really does accompany the SLR rod perfectly. It's the 11 foot version. I have got the longer ones, but again, we're not chucking miles here. It's got nice big eyes on it. The rod and the reel combination just makes fishing so easy. You can fish at long distances so easy. And also, with the lightest tipping, which is the red one that the SLR comes with, it is quite deceivingly soft as far as playing the fish is concerned. The skimmers hopefully we'll be catching today are from a pound up to four pound, so they're decent fish. But always pick a rod and a reel that's gonna make it easy for you. If you start using a 250 reel, and a 10 foot bomb rod, even casting 45 meters like today, it's gonna be difficult. That's the rods that I've assembled for today's session. I've got an exact duplicate in case of any breakages, but with a strong rod, reliable reel, reliable Darwin mainline, I don't foresee any problems as far as breakages are concerned.